What's up, Glade Brigade? Defiant Glade here, back again for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke, episode 11. Yes. <laughs> um, if you guys are excited to get back into it, make sure you annihilate that like button down below. As you guys saw, we did have a little bit of a grinding montage. It's just, just a short one. I just kind of just hammered out everything in uh, the abandoned ship or whatever, just because, I mean, it's just, it's just training, trainers and stuff. I just wanted to get them all, you know, get them all just beaten and explored everything and stuff. I, I figured you guys didn't really care to watch all that, so I just went ahead and grinded it out. I'll give you guys a quick little team recap. <clears throat> right here, we got we'll start off with Pearl, level 31, Dragonair. Uh, oops, no, not that one. We're going to Twister, Dragon Rage, Thunder Wave, and Secret Power. My team's all types of jacked up. I really need to buy more healing items, so when we get to Slayport, hopefully they'll have what we need there. I don't know, we'll see. And then we got Volt, our level 32 Zapdos with Thundershock, Mirror Coat, Thunder Wave, and Gust. Then we got Hypnotoad, the Polyrath, Rock and Surf, oh, Hypnosis, Overheat, and Submission. And then we got Jerusalem, our Pinsir, the starter that you guys chose. I've been meaning to mention that in, in the episodes, but yeah, you guys chose the starter, and he's, you know, he's, he's insane. He's just, oh man, he's just so, so good with Vice Grip, Focus Energy, Fake Out, and Brick Break. And then we got our uh, HM Slave and Bacon Strip, so... Um, but yeah, so let's get going here. Let's get a. Uh, oh, I'm running out of. I'm running out of repels. Yee. Okay, I still gotta fight these trainers. I thought about grinding these ones out too, but eh, I don't know. Don't you're trying to pursue trap me? I see you. I see you. you're not real. Uh, Torchic. <laughs> anyway. Uh, ooh. Uh, can we not with these high? Oh God. Uh, oh, I can actually run from that one. Okay. I couldn't really. I couldn't run before with my Zapdos, but I can run with Dragonair. I think Dragonair's slower, but I don't know. Whatever. It's it's whatever. I don't know. Okay. Oh god, another swallow. Oh god. <laughs> this could be bad. Or not. Bye. Lol. Uh, that's right. You know, it's probably not gonna be as bad because I'm not trying to catch these things. So uh, that is kind of annoying. I'm just gonna go ahead and gust you. Oh wow. Ooh, can you stop paralyzing everything? Like, legit, that's just so annoying. Just glare, 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 glare. You're just sitting there and glaring at everything. And of course, Hyper Potion for no reason. Can I please just have Pearl shed skin that paralysis off? That would be very nice. Why is this battle so aggravating, though? It's so dumb. Oh, yeah, you're going to go agility and then mock punch lull. Good job. You're not real. Okay, Shedskin is not curing the paralysis. That is very annoying. Can we please get Shedskin to pop? I really don't feel like wasting another part of this heal. What? There's no Shedskin. Shedskin doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Oh, can you not? Shedskin, please. It's like, what is it, like a 20% chance, something like that? Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Okay. Uh, yellow shard. Okay, that's actually not bad. We can use that to get a thunderstone later. Uh, 32. Uh, okay, I can actually swap you out. I don't have to deal with paralysis for right now. Oh, wait, oops. No. I'm going to try to keep my OCD thing to a minimum right now. Uh, and you go here. Okay, cool. We get to rock out with Hypnotoad for a while. I'm fine with that. Oh, and I did get a name request, actually. Uh, I got a request to switch up uh, one of the nicknames, particularly on the Steelix. We will go do that as soon as um, as soon as we get to Slateport here, which will be pretty soon. Route 109, I believe we did get an encounter here already. 109. <sighs> That's where we got Absol. Shin the Absol. Sorry, Shin. Rip and kill. <laughs> How did you eat that up so well? Wow. Okay. Um, right. Oh, and look at how OP Surf is right now. This is so good. It hits the enemy, and that's it. Can you not crit poison sting me? <laughs> that would be very much appreciated. <sighs> I was gonna say watch Surf trigger an effect spore. I would be so. I would be all types of just upset about that. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll 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 fight you guys. Why not? Alright. <clears throat> oh, please don't send it out. Why not? <laughs> now that I say that. Um, okay, who wants to get faked out? Oh, why did I fake you out? Oh, well, whatever. You're dead. Uh, okay, oh, Clefable, I don't know what you went for, but GG, you're, you're terrible. Goodbye. 
Bop. Oh, man. Why is Brick Break so powerful, though? Oh, poor little Togepi. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, ooh. Oh, God. This Togepi is just going to get wrecked. <laughs> man, talk about overkill, man. Okay. White Flute. Okay. That That is one of those flutes I was talking about, but not a useful one. <laughs> uh, oh, White Flute keeps... Keeps Pokemon away. I don't know. Maybe I will use it. Submission, you're not fairy type yet. You're not real. Venomoth. Oh, I got something for you, Venomoth. Hold this overheat. <laughs> Good lord. Why is why do I have overheat on this thing? Ursaring. Bop. Goodbye. This Hypnotoad is just destroying lives. Uh, you know, I might actually use this white flute right now and then sell it. Wait, anyways. Oh, that lures. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was the black flute that lures. I don't know. I don't feel like fighting you guys. I mean, more XP, sure, but meh. I don't know. I'm not about that. It's just, it's, it's just nah. Okay, so we need to go in here and get healed up real quick, like. And, oh, we can actually check out some of the new mons. Okay, let me just put you in here, Bacon Strips. Uh, oh, yeah, we got Krona in the last episode. Let's check out Krona, the Shuppet, Relaxed Nature, Knock Off Screech, and Nightshade. Not bad, not bad. Uh, you know, and this is before knockoff was good. Knockoff is uh, is just kind of like base ten or twenty in this gen, something like that. It's it's terrible in this gen. Um, okay. Oh, and if you guys saw in the grinding montage, we did find a few things. We found thick club that I'm selling. Found a choice band, so we can have a nice, powerful choice banded fake out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds legit to me. I'm gonna probably just deposit it for right now. And that just got us a ton of money. Cool, we can get super potions here. Let me just grab all that real quick. Great balls. Oh, we got a bunch of great balls. We should be good there. <sighs> why, why do you not sell super rebels? So annoying. Alright, I'm gonna go deposit these items real quick. Just because. Gen 3, bruh. Pretty much. Uh, yellow charge. Put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Okay, cool. And Name Raider is right here, actually. I'm going to go do that real quick. I had a request for the Steelix. Let's see. Steelix. Byron the Steelix. I named it after the gym leader, uh, the Steel-type gym leader in uh, Gen Gen 4. But I got a request to change it, and this actually kind of fits more. Is it you? Yeah, it's you. Name Raider. Okay. And Byron... I was requested to change that to. This is, you know, kind kind of stereotypical, but hey, it you know it works. It works. Brock, because that because his first Pokemon is Onix. I mean, it, it kind of doesn't make sense because in you know in Heart Gold Soul Silver, when you fight Brock, he doesn't have a Steelix, but instead he has an Onix. But I think, I think I remember in the anime. Spoiler alert! If you guys didn't watch the anime, <laughs> um, I think. Brock's Onyx evolves into a Steelix while he's away or something like that. So, somehow. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway. I mean, I'm not complaining we got a Steelix. Steelix is pretty good. But, okay. Um, and yeah, I think that's all we can do for right now. For right now, it's basically just, um, kind of... It, we're just kind of having trying to get somewhere right now. There's actually another place we can go. I'm sorry about the speed up run, you guys, but this is just kind of irritating. Ooh, forgot we got items. Items, bruh. All right, this is normally a rare candy. Uh, also, by the way, okay, so I totally glossed over them. So I apologize for that. But at the abandoned ship, when you guys get to that point, if you're following along, it's good to go in there because you can go get go inside. It's not TM30 that's there. It's actually TM13. You get there via the secret key, or no, secret key, the storage key, and that TM13 contains Ice Beam. Really good to get. In our case, excuse me, it was TM30, um, TM30, which normally is Shadow Ball, but in this case, it's Astonish. Yay. So, you know, it's swag, I guess. I don't know. But uh, anyway, let's let's get over here, uh, Repels. Okay. Now I'm using. Now I'm up back to using regular repels or annoying okay now if you guys come back here you might see boom a certain guy certain gym leaders here hold a fight looks like you got a lot of zip that's a good thing <laughs> 
Fine, I've decided I need a favor to fight. Marvel City has an underground sector called New Marvel. To find, I'd like you to go there and switch off the generator. Generator's been running a bit haywire. It's getting unsafe. Here's the key to New Marvel. Hey. So, this is going to get us not just one encounter, not just two, but like seven encounters, actually. Because there's all, as you guys, as you guys might, might be aware, um, there's something called the static encounter rule. Basically, Pokemon that are, that you talk to, to encounter, those are static Pokemon. Those don't have to count as encounters for that area, and they, they count as their own encounters. And there's a bunch of Voltorbs in there, so I can get a bunch of those, that's gonna be sick. Don't you worry about it, it won't be a challenge to you. The entrance to New Mafia is just a short surf away from Route 110! That's it then, you have my choice. <laughs> Okay, buddy. I, I, okay, Watson, you're a little bit crazy for your old age. Um, do you got anything better here? You got any super repels? No. Hmm. I, maybe I could scoop up some more great balls. I guess I don't know. You get 47. I'm just gonna get. Just gonna get seven. <laughs> nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. But um, yeah. Again, sorry for the speed up run, but wanted to get here. So to get to New Mauville, you go here, and then you surf all the way right here. And this little cave right here. Now, if you try to come here without the key, there's this door. It's going to stop you. So, get the basement key from Watson, and bam. If you guys are doing a Nuzlocke, you, you're going to want to come here. Uh, well, unless you, if you randomize it, you'll want to come here. If you don't randomize it, there's just going to be like seven Voltorbs here. So, but, um, oops. Stupid pen. Dropping all my pens. Okay. So, got some encounters. New Maville. Okay, and then, so basically, what you do is you press all these switches. You run around. These switches correspond to doors. And here is our new Mauville encounter. Oh my god, you guys. If I could get this. Oh, do I have a steel or a psychic type? I don't think I do. That would be a perfect addition to the team. Oh my god. I want this. I want this thing. Oh god, what do I do though? I'll start off by hypnosifying it. And this thing has serene grace too, so that could prove helpful. Uh, first turn wake up. Gotta love it. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm just speeding up just so that I can. And I'm kind of worried about doing that again. Um. Oh, don't, don't, no, no, don't you start. Don't. Oh, uh, that is going to be annoying. Okay, fake out. Can I live a brick break? Probably. Barely. Ooh. I'm going to try to put it to sleep before it rests. Damn. Oh, man, come on. Oh, this is so annoying. Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> Stop. Stop that. Okay, we know it can live brick breaks. I could go for another one, but I'm terrified because that was a crit. And you know what else? It's in the red and asleep. <gasps> now is the time. <gasps> now is the time. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? One, two. Okay, okay. I, I, I didn't expect that, but I didn't expect that many rolls. Okay, so brick break. Ooh, vice grip. One more. Can we stop it? Can we stop it, Drashi? Just stop it. Stop it. No. Okay. Okay. One more. Okay. Okay. I don't know if it can live another one. And we'll just keep. If I can, good. And switch back in here. Get a fake out off. And we will keep him. A Did he go for protect? He outsped or something. That was. I, I kind of want to catch this thing in a Premier Ball. That would be sick. Premier Ball is my favorite ball. Can I just... One? Two? No. Okay. I didn't think so. All right. This could take a little while, but... uh, Okay. This could be worth it. One, two, three. Oh, my God. You guys, that is... Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that. Oh, look at that. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Jirachi the Wish Pokemon. Jirachi is said to make wishes come true. While it sleeps, a tough crystalline shell envelops the body to protect it from enemies. 
Yo, that's amazing. So, um, I've never really had a good nickname for Jirachi other than Tanabata. I might name it that. I don't know. Um, yeah, no, I'm going to name it that, actually. Yeah, Tanabata. If you guys aren't familiar, uh, I was going to name it Sleepy after, uh, that's what Nappy names his Jirachi. But uh, Tanabata is a lot better. If you guys aren't familiar, I'm pretty sure that is actually what Jirachi is based off of. It's like a Japanese tradition, um, ja a Japanese holiday. You get a tree and you put little seals that are basically the seals dangling off of Jirachi's hat. And you write wishes on them. And uh, it's like if the stars align right or something, the, the gods from above will grant your wishes or something. I don't remember exactly, but Tanabata. That is cool. Ugh, and it's got an item. I think it normally holds a star piece. Let's see, what do you got? TM12. That is taunt. Most everything can learn taunt, actually. So this could be good. Leech seed. Uh, Tanabata with leech. Okay, you were holding it. Get rid of helping hand. Now you got leech seed. It had psychic. That could have been bad. I'm glad it just decided to sit there and spam rest and stuff. That's cool. Now let's look at this. It's a naughty Jirachi. Serene Grace. Okay. Oh, its attack is slightly higher, okay, but you can run it mixed. That's neat, though. Okay, I am gonna... Do I have anything that I can really... <clears throat> you want to learn Arm Thrust? No. I'm not gonna give you Belladrum. What about Dig? No, I didn't think so. Uh, can you get Fire Punch? I wonder. No. Hmm. Uh, Astonish? Maybe, yeah, because it can get a Shadow Ball. I mean, why not, I guess. Get rid of rest. Oh my goodness, you guys. We got a Jirachi. That's insane. Oh. Why is that so nice, though? That's totally going to be a new member of the squad right there. Uh, I might grind him up later, but... um, Wow. Wow, there's Jirachi in here. That is... Uh, I know these things carry Psychic. So, I need to be extra careful here. Can I just escape now? Okay. So, I'm just going to use a Repel right now, because these things are all lower level than me, so I'm just going to do that. Um, okay, <laughs> I was so caught up in Jirachi, but um, basically what you do here is you just hit all these switches. The green ones open the green doors and close the gray doors, and vice versa, basically. And these items, these are all items here, these... Uh, the thing is, the items that are sitting on switches kind of show you which switches to hit. Because if it's an actual item, that's the switch you want to hit. But if it's a Voltorb, then that means it's a, it's the wrong switch. Okay, let's just get that. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's only that those are the only places where you find Voltorb is sitting on switches. Um, in here, well, I mean, other than like wild encounters and stuff. But uh, yeah, see, I be believe this is going to be a Voltorb. I fast forwarded through the thing, so. But, ooh, okay. Voltorb in here is a Nido Reno. And the, this is a static encounter, so meaning, um, basically the meaning of that rule is that um, it's it's basically like the sleeping Snorlaxes in red and blue. They're kind of, they, they're seen as mandatory encounters. I mean, now granted, I don't have to encounter this thing to progress, but just because of that rule. Oh, come on. Can we stop missing? Okay. And I think I'm just going to toss a ball at you because you're a Nito Reno. Should be fine. There we go. Um, it's a static encounter, so meaning it is its own encounter. I don't have to worry about... Oh, I already got my capture for this area. So, Nidorino. And the name for Nidorino, you guys all, you guys already know there's only one name for Nidorino, or male Nidoran line. This is, this name, when, when Nappy showed me this name, I was like, or, you know, showed us this name in this episode, I was like, oh my god. That totally fits. Like, if you guys in the anime, it's just uh, so good. Um, now... The other thing is, in other games that I've randomized, when there's areas like this where you have a bunch of Voltorbs lying around, it's, you know, the Voltorbs are all the same thing from what I've seen. So, I don't know. We'll see what this is. This might just be another Nid Arena. No. What? That sounds like a Celebi. What is going on? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, my God. Why... Why do I have a Celebi on my screen? Ugh. Okay, you got recovery. This is this is gonna have to stop. 
Can I just submission it? Ugh, that doesn't do much more anyway. This is very bad. I really shouldn't leave Hypnotoad in on this thing. But it might just sit here and recover spam. I don't know. I'm going to Hypnosis it again and then go out and start faking it out. Uh, oh, don't you start. Don't you start with that. Uh, 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 calm down, Celebi. You got the ancient power boost. That's, that's no bueno. We, we can't be having that now. Okay. You can't be doing this. Oh, come on. Can I flinch you out? I'm ringing that bell. Okay. No longer protected by, uh, of course you, why did I do that again? Stupid. Uh, what is the secret power thing in here? I, oh, I think this could paralyze. What? Oh, that was a crit. That was a crit. That was a crit. Gotta be careful. Oh, I, I don't know you're going to do that. Can we stop? Oh, it's got heal bells, so it could, like... Does it work like that? I don't know if it works like that. Stop. It's just... Yep, it works like that. Mm -mm. Okay, so what does it reveal? Ancient power, heal bell, recover, and safeguard. It doesn't have any scary moves. Okay, I can just leave Hypnotoad in on this thing. Um... I just got stop using safeguard. Oh, that's so annoying. Safeguard recover. Safeguard recover. Uh, come on, come on. Oh my God, Celebi, stop it. Well, this is actually good because Hypnotoad resists that stab or not stab that ancient power. So that stab power. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Okay, stop. <laughs> Is safeguard still up? I don't know if safeguard's Oh! Okay. Okay, can we put you can we put you to sleep? Ah, stop it, safeguard. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep doing this. I can't do this all day. This 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 is just why is this so stupid? Can I get a taunt on this thing? Oh my god, Celebi, why are you being so dumb? I'm almost tempted to just run from this thing. I I know you guys don't want to see this. Look at this. Look at... Okay, finally, we get it. You know, okay. Safeguard. Safeguard wear off. Stop using recovers. Stop using recover. Stop missing. Oh, my God. We missed, like, three hypnosis in a row. I'm going to have to use a Lepaberry or something soon because this is, this is ridiculous. This is stupid. Oh, my God. Can you, can you just stop using recover? Okay. I can't throw a ball at it. I mean, well, I could. Can you? <laughs> Celebi, why? Why? If you were anything else, I just I would have just run by now because this is stupid. You know what? You know what? Just for lulls, I'm just gonna chuck a ball. Can you just? Can you just stay caught? Okay, I was gonna say that would have been stupid. That would have been so stupid if that would actually worked. God, I hope I have an elixir or something. See, I've never hoped for a crit against something I'm trying to catch before. Well, that was a bunch of time wasted. <laughs> okay. That was just all types of annoying. But I mean, it's a Celebi. Celebi comparatively isn't really all that great. You know, compared to Jirachi. So, I, I mean, I got a Jirachi. I'm happy. <laughs> I didn't want to get greedy or anything. Let's see. Do we have any elixirs? We got an ether. We probably got a bunch of Lepa Berries. Yeah, I'm just going to use that. Can use that on Surf. Then Hypnosis. Just that. Good thing that thing didn't have pressure, though. That would have that would have been dumb. Oh, too soon. <laughs> I mean, it's a static. It's a static. I can catch it. I can catch it. Voltorb 2. <sighs> Too soon, though. That's the only thing. Oh, this thing has pressure, though. There, hypnosis. Go to sleep. Uh, okay, I'm going to heal before I go into uh, into our start, into our pincer here. And try to fake out. <clears throat> okay. Of course you wake up. Oh, that did so much damage. Uh, it could probably live one more fake out. I'm gonna try it because Absol's catch rate is really low. It, it can be really hard to catch. 
Okay, good, good. Oh, is that how... So you can't flinch a sleeping Pokemon. Hmm. Not in this gen, anyway. Alright. Great Ball is... Can we, can we get... Can we get Sean, ver Sean version 2? <laughs> Shin. Shin version 2. Alright, cool. <laughs> the thing is... The other thing is, I've already caught an Absol, and that is Dupes. Why isn't there a Pokeball symbol next to its name? That's weird. That is Dupes, however. Dupes Claws is optional. I don't have to run away from it or anything, so I'm gonna... I'm just gonna name this... No, what I, I would name it Shin V2, but I'm gonna name it this, and... Actually, this is gonna be the exact same thing. On, only Shin himself is gonna get this. <laughs> well, actually... Oh, yo, I had to spell it like this, but that's, I believe that's actually the way he spells it. Um, I forget what he said that's a reference to, but he uses that in other media, so. But, that's cool, that's cool. He's got another chance at, uh, at being here, so. If I use that, if I, if I try to use that again, I'm gonna be really careful. But, uh, looks like that stupid Celebi ate up all of our time. So after I turn off this generator and get the thing we're going to get, I'll probably just end off the episode right there. Did, wait, we found a Thunderstone in here. That's pretty sick as you normally do find it. I think that right there to the right is a Thunderstone normally. Step on this switch and turns off the generator. Okay. Found a Metal Powder. It'd be good if we find a nice powerful Ditto. Can I get a? Can I get an Imposter? That'd be nice. <laughs> nah, a Gen 2. One generation too early it would seem. Do I, oh, you know what? I'm not about to just do all this stuff. I'm just gonna go escape rope. Cause that's the thing. If you if you're doing that, you gotta. Is that a? Oh, I forgot to use another repel. Um, you gotta go all the way back through all that trip and all those switches. I don't care, Mike. Go away. I wish I could just deregister these people. That's so annoying. Anyway, so once you, like I was saying, once you get over here, you talk to Mr. Watson here. <laughs> I knew it to fight. I knew I made the right choice in asking you. So my thing's a TM containing light screen. Lol. No, it actually normally contains Thunderbolt. So if you guys are playing through and playing along and you're not randomizing it, do this because you get Thunderbolt, one of the best TMs in the game. That's so good. But light screen, that's actually not bad. I know um, Jirachi can learn that. Uh, Tanabatar Jirachi. And, uh, you know, I might do a little grinding montage just to get Tanab Tanabata Tanabata caught up with the party that might be neat but uh for right now i'm gonna just end off the episode if you guys have enjoyed make sure you annihilate that like button down below as always any all support you guys and shows me greatly appreciated um and with that i'm gonna i'm gonna get out of here i love you guys all i love you guys a lot like i always say and uh, i'll see you guys in the next episode this is defiant glade signing out